gonna do this to me? And you gonna do this to me? This was her reaction when she realized that he was done with that relationship. Okay. Okay. Well, like I said, you know, you know our relationship was dying. Okay. You know yeah. it for a while. I, I, it just happened. It wasn't planned. Oh, it just happened, huh? She just couldn't let it go. This woman had a meltdown when this man wanted nothing to do with her after he found out the kid wasn't his. Oh, boy. I knew it. I knew it. Go to fireman's. Calm down, babe. It's okay. It's a, we're all here. We're all here. The reason she's crying is that she knows that after this, he will want nothing to do with her. I'm here with you. I'm not gonna leave you. Okay. This man isn't crying tears of weakness. This is a man who trusted and gave his best, yet was stabbed in the back with cheating. And trust me, he will rise stronger after this. Just sit down, honey. It's okay. It's okay. Um, we handle very serious issues in this courtroom. This is very serious. This shows the regret of losing a high-value man. And I think what we all witness today is she truly believed that Mr. Tedwell, you were her child's father. The truth, sometimes it breaks us down and we need a minute to process it. Mm -hmm. But it turns out that he wasn't the father and he instantly decided to never be a part of their lives any further. Are you all right? No, no. I hope this man finds happiness. Overcoming hard times is what makes you stronger and brave. This is exactly why I'd do not date and why so many men are not dating. They're just walking away from women and you can't blame them. A real man will leave you. They're not gonna go back and forth with you. They're not gonna argue with you. They're not gonna beg with you. They're not gonna plead with you. You will get a warning at best. And if it's no changed behavior, they're out. That's true. A man will always give a second chance, but if the situation is the same, he will retreat. There's not a big pool of good men. That's a lie. That's well, not a, a that, lie. That is a That's lie. That's not a lie. Listen. What? There's not a lot of good men who want y'all. Sometimes men are just done with everyone. There's a lot of good men out there like they, where the good man at? Like they hiding under a rocker in a cave. They everywhere. They at the gas station. They at Costco. They at the bank. They walking right past you and you don't show up on their radar because of the way you are. A good man knows who to deal with and who to never deal with. And if there is even a 5% risk, he will be gone. They're going to walk right by you. Your pretty face ain't going to go too far because everybody's pretty. That's a prerequisite. So if that's all you got to offer, we're not looking at you. A good man isn't just looking for a pretty face. He wants a woman with good values and who was raised well. There's plenty of good men. They just don't want you. I ain't never heard no woman say, I know I ain't. She'll say, this man ain't. He, ain't, he was bad. He was bad. Every woman think they're a good woman. What makes you a good woman? The ability to admit a person's mistake is important. So if a man sees someone acting like they're perfect, they go away. Who's auditing that you're a good woman? You are auditing yourself. Why don't you ask your exes what they think? Because all your relationships diminish and ended in, in turmoil. If you tell a man his flaws, he will listen instead of getting angry and he will work on himself because he knows no one is perfect. Starting to see how pointless this is, I went my own way nine years ago. I dip my toes in the dating scene every so often, but being single is so much better. I love my husband and to say that I obey him is to say I honor him, to say I respect him and his choices and his decision to lead this family. I don't lead nothing. If I were to leave this family, we'd be down in the gutter because I, I got after a firm, I got dead. I got <laughs> I can't, I ain't leading nothing. This is a case where this woman is honest, and we can all respect that. That's what God created him for me. He is my helpmate, and I'm to be his helpmate, not his burden, not his back talk, not the one that brings him down. And so sometimes I think that we are in such this independent mindset as women, and it's like, I'm sorry. When a woman is desperate for love, 
she lacks the right focus because she's desperate to give herself for what she thinks is right. The problem is, sometimes they are desperate for the wrong person. However, what she thinks is right may be totally wrong for her. That is why she will give herself willingly to someone who she knows within herself is not good for her. When good men see that a woman gives a chance to bad men, it makes her image look bad and leads him away. A drunk, a drug addict, someone who is not responsible, someone who is just how to use her. She will be thinking in her mind that maybe she can win him over by being nice and giving sex. That won't work. It will only give a good man a bad point of view about her. Easy one. Conversation gets dull, okay? The conversation is not as interesting anymore. He doesn't quite text you as often as he used to. He doesn't show his genuine interest in you. That's what happens when a man is done for good. All right, as he once did when y'all first was dating, y'all first were talking, you know, talking till three o'clock in the morning. Like, yo, he just not really doing that anymore because he's losing interest. And that interest being lost can be due to many things. Cheating, for instance, is the biggest cause. He stops making time for you, okay? Listen, no man is too busy for somebody who he really interested in and he really cares about, he really loves, he has feelings, strong feelings for them. That's true. So if a man isn't there, then he was done wrong. He gonna carve out a time in his busy schedule for you, okay? But if he like legit for weeks go by without him really making plans to see you, hang out with you, link up with you, whatever it may be, he's definitely losing interest in you. It also might have to do with being disrespected because he was not appreciated when he was the nice guy. Last but certainly not least, if his attitude towards you changes, right? He's not the nice guy that he once was when y'all first met. You know what I mean? It's, it's as if something just switched off in his head. You know what I mean? Like, and you know, he starts arguments with you. Listen, he's losing interest. And he usually leaves at this point. Begged? Yes. In a relationship. And what did that entail? Like, what did you beg for? I begged for love. I begged for attention. I begged for um, touch. Love. I begged for communication. The problem is, these things are asked when it's too late. I begged to make it work. Um, I actually brought myself to the lowest that I think that I've ever been in my whole life. Like I gave, I loved this person more than I loved myself. So I gave up any of my desires to try to make this person happy. Making a man happy needs to start from the beginning so that he can stay and make her happy too. But if not, he will go away. And make me make him love me. And I was willing to do anything mm -hmm. to get the love from this person. Um, and looking back, it's pitiful. Oh my God, I could cry. I could cry, I could cry because I love them so much and I begged and begged and begged. I don't miss drama. I enjoy peace and calmness at home when I come to relax after work. It's not a movement, it's a philosophy. A woman will beg a guy she loves for months, cry to him, complain to him. The thing about girls is, it takes very long for them to leave and move on. But it does take men only a few days. When a man decides to leave you, he thought about it for a long time, okay? It's not that you said the wrong thing or he woke up that day and suddenly he decided to leave. He was considering that choice for quite a while. You just didn't see the signs. Because men never make fast, immature decisions. And by the way, don't be surprised if he has another woman already because when people leave, they usually have a backup plan in place. That's not the case for men. They don't have another woman on the side. But after they move on, they can start from scratch easily. You need to make his life harder, not easy. Men are not attracted to women making their lives easier. Men want and need women who don't need them. Men are repelled by convenient women. That is 100% false.
and chase inconvenient selfish women men don't appreciate women that are easy men love a woman that is challenging to them mentally stimulates them in short he should make your life better and easy not harder but the same doesn't go for women you if you want him you need to make his life harder not easy not at all men want their wife to make things easier for them with no drama and fighting because men nowadays seek peace be a problem to solve. Be the challenge to conquer. Be the woman on a pedestal that he actually needs to earn access to. Everything else, you chasing him and putting energy into him and forgiving him and just always reaching out first and texting and calling will make this man grow resentful of you and there's no chance you will actually ever end up with him. Because the more you want him, the less he wants you. I would be surprised and shocked if I ever found out someone washed and believed this. The more you're unbothered and the less you need him, he will come your way. When a woman is never happy with her man's behavior or she's putting excessive pressure on him to change, even when he's doing his best, oftentimes she's projecting on him where her father or her mother fell short. That's true. The childhood is important and it defines our character as a human being and she's unconsciously expecting him to save her from her own unhealed pain. It shows up as her needing lots of assurance, questioning him, micromanaging him and being very critical towards him or fearing betrayal. The problem here is that no matter what he does, she'll never be able to relax until she heals the little girl within. Not every man would want to stay and deal with these problems who is actually expecting chaos and who feels unlovable. Otherwise, she continues to create scenarios that match the pain of her childhood. And she says, see, I knew it. I always have to do all the hard work. But when you heal and your body is now in a state of expecting safe communication, joyful connection, trust, then that's what you create. That's true. It's created from within, not relying on someone else. And that's what men believe. Why is it so hard for so many women to simply allow and not to control? Ladies, if you find yourself in absolute panic, if you find yourselves in exhaustion and overwhelm and burnout, if you're not controlling the outcome of everything in your life, it's a strong indication that you are in your wounded masculine energy. For control is a wounded masculine energetic. Men avoid a partner with the same energy as them. Where does over controlling everything in your life come from? Trying to control everything is a result of trying to protect yourself, protect yourself from further harm and hurt. That's right. Controlling the world around you is actually a protective mechanism. Why are you trying to protect yourself? So if their partner is trying to control their every move, they pull away. Belief is embedded in their DNA and their makeup. And this is why you hear most women say, I'll never settle. You will never hear a man say he will or he won't settle. But you hear women say, because once you give a woman something, she always want more. Is this more? Can I have more? A man knows that feeding the fire is never worth it because fire never gets enough. It always wants more. Once you start talking to a woman, take her out on dates, what are we? She wants more. She wants a relationship. Two, three years down the line, where's my ring? She wants marriage. Two, three years of marriage, where's my baby? It just never stops. She it always want more. And this is why most relationships and or marriages don't work. Because once you get to marriage, and some people don't even get that far, there's no more more to want. If a relationship is built on always giving, a time arrives when there is nothing left to give anymore. So then they're going to break up with you, relationship, or they're going to divorce you, marriage, because there's no more more to get. And go start over with somebody else. A man wants somebody who will appreciate him for who he is and not ask for things all the time. Well, guys, that was all for today. We'll be back soon.